Welcome back to another episode of Found But Still Lost. Matt and I are just heading up north to pack up our bowler and bring it home. Matt saw something on the side of the road, so he turned around for me to see it, and I still missed it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the video. Ooh, this one's a tough one. Ugh. Squeezing all that goodness. Okay. Breakfast this morning is going to be some Riviera coconut milk, vegan delight, raspberry, and black currant yogurt. Some Nature Valley um, granola. And ba -ba -da! chocolate croissants. Oh, yeah. It was at this very moment that I realized how much I loved Matt. And maybe that I wouldn't mind being that spoon. Matt's got his coffee. coffee. It looks dirty. It's man's coffee. It looks a little dirty. That's man's coffee. All right. Now let's get some yogurt into our bellies and then chocolate croissants. And then we walk. Wait, this part's hard to get off. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like when it doesn't peel nice. Pisses me off. Nixon, you don't like this, do you? Why are you all over it? You want some? No, oh, no, you can't get away from that fast enough. All right. Let's get some yogurt. Our table's very dirty. Yes. <laughs> so now we sprinkle some of this heaven on it. Ooh, this is a brand new bag. I thought I'd open this one. I probably like this one the most because it's the most unhealthy granola there probably is. But I like it. Ready? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Nix. Nix. Yeah. Missy already peed on that. You got that. Good boy. Matt and I are carefully watching every step that we take, trying not to get filthy. And Nixon isn't following our lead. He's just going wherever. He doesn't care. He's covered in <laughs> mud. Maybe we should all be more like Nixon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt and I are trying to figure out, we're in this little cabin at Snowden Park. And we're trying to figure out if this is something that we could size-wise live in. I don't know. I think you'd have to be pretty ingenious in how you designed it, I guess. Like, the design of the one that I'm looking at now, you'd walk in a door that's centered. Along here would be a kitchen area. Yeah. And then right here on this side is um, a staircase going up to the loft. And underneath the staircase is two windows and they have a bar top there. With like a camera? Yeah, so that you can look into the screened in area. And then the back here would be like your little sitting area, but it would go beyond probably another two feet fish. 
I think if it was just laid out properly, it'd be okay. And then they have a loft bed. Like to live in though? I don't know. Like to be in it for the summer? They have a loft yeah, bed know. and then I would make a loft on this side too, but not as big. Not as big. This isn't big enough though for two lofts. No, it, it goes beyond this at I least know. another two feet. I don't know. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. I think I've shown this cabin before on a walk, but maybe I haven't. So that's the doorway, window, and there's like a little cellar in there. I don't know if we could do it, but we could definitely like stay in it for the summer for sure. Matt and I are about to go down to the river. Probably might be our last visit here, so we're going to go and... Uh, see what it's like down there. I, I'm just wearing shorts. Matt put on his bathing suit, but I don't think I'm getting in. And I'm a water baby, but not today. Not gonna happen. What are you doing? Oh. You pooped. I got dump. Matt's in there, but I'm not going in. This is one of the deepest that I've ever seen it. Like it's up to Matt's butt in a spot where it's normally not past your knees. Ooh, my feet actually hurt so bad. Oh my gosh, look how red my legs are. <laughs> I might regret not going in, but it hurts and I don't want to be cold. Usually I'm not a sissy when it comes to the water, so I feel like a sissy. Especially because Matt's usually a sissy with the water, but he's in there. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you good? We just got back from playing up on the river, and on our way back up, I stepped on a tiny tree stump, like this big, right in the middle of my foot, really, really hard. And I cried, like a lot, maybe too much, but I cried, maybe a lot. So we're just getting our dinner ready. It's only like two o'clock, but we're gonna let it simmer for a long time, we're making chili. So we just got the ground beef cooking on our little stove. And I had pre-cut the veggies at home. And we've got our stewed, stewed tomatoes, tomato juice, and kidney beans. So it should be a yummy dinner. Maybe I won't stub my toe again and curse myself. Matt and I ditched the idea of having lunch today since it's like, what time do you think? Two. Two, yeah. So we started making chili. And we just have a snack, a rather large snack, but a snack. Matt thinks the chili already smells good and it's only been on the stove for like 10 minutes. It does. It does smell good. It's really pretty today. We just had a nice warm apple cider. And <laughs> Matt's breaking sticks. <laughs> and I'm... I'm an inchworm in a sleeping bag. I'm just watching the clouds roll by. The sun's starting to go down. It's starting to get cold. I think we're going to be super happy to have chili. Just saying. Because it's getting chilly. I'm getting a little chilly. I think tonight's supposed to be the coldest night out of the um, two nights that we're here. So we'll have that heating blanket turned up high tonight. We'll have to snuggle lots. Not a bad thing. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a good week. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So we're probably just going to hang out in the bowler. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your Crocs? I got stepped in poop. Human poop. <laughs> <laughs> and for 
first you were like, no, I didn't step on anything. And then he looked at the bottom of his pretty purple crook. I think it was Tristan's poop. <laughs> well, maybe he wouldn't poop in the bucket. Oh, and now it's on your foot? No, it's not anymore, but it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny. That's funny, yeah, poop. Oh, poop is funny. Poop happens. Ooh-wee, look at that chili. Mmm, that's going to be good. And it's starting to cool down outside. It's going to be so yum. What? How's your chili? It's amazing. It cooked for a few hours, too. I didn't think we'd have enough propane, but we did. Mm. Bar, mm. Bar. Oh. Mmm. Yep. That's good. That's really good. It's good. We nailed that. Good morning. It's a rainy kind of blah day. So Matt's outside in our little screened in tent and he made himself some coffee. And now he's making me a, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of the word? Apple cider. <laughs> he's making me an apple cider. And Nixon and I are just chilling in here. Nixon's wondering who the heck am I talking to? Damn. And this is the cute, like, that Tristan got me. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I think he got it at Walmart for, like, 12 bucks. And, yeah, just kind of, blah. So, I'm going to, I'm going to try to crochet for a little bit. And I already woke up and wrote my journal. I love writing in my journal. That's totally something I got from another YouTuber that inspired me to start writing in journals every morning. And, I don't know, I find it helps. Um, Matt and I had our heating blanket on last night for a little bit and turned it off like halfway through the night because we got too warm. So yeah, it's going to be a nice snuggly rainy day and I'm cool with that. So yeah. Hi. I don't know how to do the handoff because it's too hot, isn't it? Can it go over yeah. here? Will it sit on that? Barely, yeah. Barely. But yeah. I think it's good there. Ooh, steaming hot. Yeah. Hot apple cider. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My little baby. I'm kind of excited for a rainy day. It's supposed to stop in about an hour. Mm. For a little while. I might run the Canadian Tire. And grab a tarp. Maybe Nixon and I will. Oh no, you know what? Going for a hike in Snowden would probably be gross right now. It might be. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe Nixon and I will just walk around here. I need a tarp for the solar stuff. Okay. I might eat this now. We gotta pack up. I don't want to. Either do I. Yeah. I'm kind of excited to get the bowler home. Why? Because when you pointed out like mold. Yeah, it's... That creeped me out a little bit. It's not bad. I know. But we should take care of it. You going back out? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crochet for a bit. Have fun. Love you. Love you, too. Get snuggled in, Nixon. So... It's still raining outside. It stopped for a little bit. And Nixon and I went for like just a teeny little walk. So I'm back in bed. <laughs> Which is absolutely amazing. I feel no guilt today. Just resting and I'm alternating between reading a book that I'm actually not really liking that much. It's called A Man Called Ove. It's just about a grumpy old man. So far I'm not loving it. And I'm like halfway through it. Everyone that recommended the book loved it of course they would have what they recommended but i'm not liking it so anyways i'm alternating between reading my book and crocheting and i'm not very good at crocheting <laughs> this is my second blanket that i'm making and it's not in a straight line i don't know what i'm doing wrong i'm probably forgetting a stitch somewhere but 
hopefully I'm gonna get it going so it's straight. <laughs> Nixon really hasn't moved much. He's gone for one tiny little walk. And that's about it. And Matt's at Canadian Tires buying a tarp. Um, tomorrow we're going to pack up a bowler and bring it home for the season, which is always kind of sad. But um, Matt needed a tarp for our solar panels. And we're going to pack a whole bunch of that kind of stuff up. Our dining tent needs to be packed up. There's a lot to do. So hopefully um, tomorrow isn't as bad as the other man's calling for. And we get to pack up nice and dry, hopefully. And I also hope that nothing's wrong with the bowler, like the tires aren't too low or wheels aren't seized or something crazy when we go to bring the bowler home. So, yeah, so we're just going to take it easy today. Um, we're going to make some stew over rice for dinner tonight. And I think we still have some cookies left for desserts. Probably not going to have a bonfire because all the wood's going to be wet. So I think it's just like a snuggle day. Um, apparently we have like five free hours of internet. So maybe we'll download a movie. Um, I didn't bring my laptop, so we might have to watch it on my phone, but whatever. And there's a, a house for sale down the street from us. I think it's only two doors down. Like there's one house and then um, the next house is the one that's for sale. It's been like nonstop busy there. So I don't know if we bought like a really good spot or people are just dying for a cottage right now. I don't know. But they have been busy like all day. I'd say there's been at least 10 cars today and it's only like one o'clock. And yesterday I'd say there was a good solid five that I like noticed drive by. But I don't really notice it all that much. So... Maybe there's more, but the ones I noticed, it seems like there's a lot. So yeah, going to get back to it and we'll see you in a bit. I had this amazing idea of washing my hair. I think I got all of a sudden. We have this giant um, wheelbarrow full of water and I thought, why not wash my hair in it? <laughs> and that's cutting down a tree or something. But that literally felt like the worst brain freeze ever. Hot water was so cold. And it didn't look dirty until after I washed my hair. So I don't know if it was a bucket that was extremely dirty or me. But whatever, my hair feels better. I'm freezing. But we good. Take some stuff in there. I have to be careful not to sneak up on him with his power tools. Oh, he's further down than I thought. I just slid on a stick. I can't believe how many mushrooms are popping up. I guess it's mushroom season. Never knew when mushroom season was. Mushrooms, they're everywhere. And there's all different kinds. Nixon's looming behind me. Ooh, I don't have good shoes on. I think I'm coming the wrong way. I'll try another way. Hi. I'll cut that tree. Because uh, it falls. Oh, it's hanging. It fell from over here. From over there. And now it's just hanging there and it's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. Look at you. You love that thing. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to use it when it with the wood's wet. But the wood's not wet on the inside. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. You're covered. I touch on this one. It's, yeah, it's all dead. Went that way. So I think what that tree was, this part over there and this part. I think it broke and just. Weird. So I want to clean that you up. can really hear the river today. Yeah. I cleaned my hair in a wheelbarrow. How's that feel? 
cold. It felt like the coldest brain freeze ever. Funny how just like a little tree makes a big mess. So Matt's taking a better approach than you. Oh, I just fell. <laughs> than using uh, the wheelbarrow as a shower. Matt's using our shower bag. We have it on a, what's that called, a pulley? Get it up to the top and then we have a cleat over here to hold it. There you go. Oh, you remember how to do it. Oh yeah, baby. And it's got two stops on it. So this is stop number one, but then this also has a stop and go on it too. It's pretty cool. I'll leave you to shower. You don't need us to watch you shower. Okay, can you help me? Really? Next. Yeah, who doesn't want like, a little help? Oh. You have to let go of that then. Pull it down. Yeah. It's like barely coming out. It's not coming out. It's really not coming out fast though. No, it's really not. Maybe it's still. Maybe it's just got an air bubble or something in it. <laughs> it's pinched right there. Huh. Good. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. You got the high pressure now. Okay, I'm gonna drop because no one needs to see all this. Oh. Bow, bow, chicka, bow, wow. This is like our open bathroom. That's the shower. That's the toilet. Shower. Toilet. And that's about it. And when it's not raining, this is where we hold the toilet paper. On this pretty little branch. Bye. Matt and Tristan have finished building an outhouse. So next year we'll be using the outhouse and we'll be planning a build. So, woo woo! Matt and I have decided very quickly that we are packing up and heading home today instead of tomorrow. Mainly because it's supposed to rain like all day tomorrow. So we thought we'd get a head start and get everything packed up before it rained and then we thought we might as well just go because what are we missing if we just spend the night we're just sleeping and then it rained again and everything got <laughs> and everything got soaked so our pay our plan is kind of ruined but i would have showed you some of our process of getting everything ready we still have to shut the windows this one needs an extra little bit of love to close and so does the kitchen window and Nixon's reluctant to leave at all because he hates to drive. But, um, yeah, we're going to pack up and I think we're going to go. Sad, we're not ready to leave, I don't think. I'm not ready for, like, summer to be over and winter to come. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of winter. All the good stuff happens in the summer. So, yeah, we'll have to make find a way to, I don't know. I can't even articulate myself when it comes to winter. I just don't like it. Nixon's old jacket. <sighs> you ready, babe? Yes. I don't know what Nixon's doing. Is that a weird pee or what? All right. The bowler is packed up. I've cried a few times because that's just what I do. Yeah. We put a driveway in on someone else's property. We moved our trailer onto our property, set up a little 
campsite for the summer. Enjoyed the river, put a new driveway in and a new parking spot and an outhouse that Matt and Tristan built all by themselves. And, and now we're going home. And solar. Oh yeah, and the solar stuff, which is covered up. And we're ready. But not ready. Like, not ready at all. No. Hmm. Let's just stay. <laughs> Maybe leaving a day early wasn't smart. Eh. Sad. When do you think we'll be back? <laughs> Probably not for a while. Probably not till the end of March. I just farted. Pro yeah, probably the end of March. <laughs> but maybe we can get somebody to cut down that tree. Yeah, that big beast of a tree, like this guy right there, that has to come down. Hopefully our wood pile stands up through the winter. Yeah. It might. It won't. Why? These are all the oh, you never know. Matt and I only yelled at each other a few times trying to get the bowler put back on the car. Why are there mosquitoes right now? I think we have everything tucked away. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, no. No. just this okay. <laughs> it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Wish I had water. Should have emptied it all out, but we did. Yep. Nixon, you ready to go? Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home? What do you think? No? Me either. Mm, I love you. I love you so much. We just pulled our bowler out of our own driveway for the first time. Woohoo!